really the important thing is to do that, is to think about getting pregnant before the pregnancy happens because time and time again, outcomes have been shown to be much better with planned pregnancies than unplanned pregnancies. So the first step is to, number one, decide that it is time to get pregnant and then make plans accordingly. And that involves a visit to see your OBGYN to do some preconception care. And there's things to think about that your doctor might be able to bring up that you might not know are important when planning a pregnancy. Things such as your medical history, whether you have medical problems that need to be you know, taken care of and to get you in the best possible health before you do get pregnant. Um, what medications you're taking, whether those be prescription medicines, over-the-counter medications, even herbal supplements can be very important and even dangerous to a new pregnancy. So you need to talk about those ahead of time and know which are safe, which are unsafe, and which maybe need to be changed before you consider getting pregnant. Um, an OBGYN also will be able to talk to you about what your family history is. And family history becomes very important when we're looking at creating that next generation of the family. So we need to know, are there birth defects that are in the family that we need to be aware of ahead of time? Are there genetic diseases like cystic fibrosis, Tay-Sachs, that you know of in your family that we can do some testing before you consider getting pregnant? Those have obvious implications for a pregnancy and to have that information before you even conceive is very important. So that's the first step. And aside from visiting your doctor, there are a lot of things you can do on your own at home to prepare yourself for a pregnancy. One of the most important things is to make sure that you're getting a prenatal vitamin daily. Folic acid is incredibly important to reduce your risk for spina bifida, which is a problem with the baby's brain and spine and skull developing properly early on in the pregnancy. And the risks for that birth defect go down dramatically if you're just simply taking one prenatal vitamin a day. The other thing is to take care of yourself in terms of diet and exercise. Um, a healthy diet that's well balanced between all the four food groups that we learned about in kindergarten is still important today when you're looking at planning a pregnancy. And the better that you are taking care of yourself nutritionally, the better prepared your body is for a pregnancy. Now that obviously comes into thinking about weight, and for a lot of people looking at a pregnancy, weight is an issue. They're either underweight or overweight when they're looking at starting to conceive, both of which have risk factors that go along with them when it comes to a pregnancy later on. So I encourage all of my patients to try to obtain an ideal weight, try to get to that healthy weight before you get pregnant, and that's going to really reduce your risks for a lot of complications that could develop later on down the road. Exercise is another piece of that that's very important, both in terms of your health um, as well as weight, obviously. Um, exercise that you've been doing regularly is fine to continue at that same level um, from the time of preconception and actually all the way through the pregnancy unless complications develop. If you've not done any regular exercise, now is not the time to start the training for a marathon. But to get out and do 30 minutes of walking, at a strenuous pace so that you're starting to get a little bit short of breath, that does a tremendous advantage to your body. It gets you into much better shape when you're looking at planning a pregnancy. Just a 20 to 30 minute walk, five days out of the week is going to really improve your fitness. It's going to help with those weight loss goals if you need to lose some weight before you get pregnant. And it's a great exercise to continue all the way through pregnancy to keep you in better shape for labor and delivery. Habits that you may or may not think about ahead of time are also important to modify and to help to give you the best shape that you can be in to get pregnant. Quitting smoking not only is going to improve your fertility and make it easier to get pregnant, it's also going to reduce your miscarriage by two to three times and makes for a much healthier mom looking at getting pregnant. So I can't underestimate how important, I, you just can't, you can't explain how important it is to quit smoking ahead of time. Um, alcohol is another important habit that we need to think about when we're looking at trying to get pregnant. Um, you don't need to completely quit drinking until you get that first positive pregnancy test, but I recommend that my patients limit to three drinks maximum um, at, a, at a setting in order to reduce that al alcohol consumption. Again, it's going to improve your fertility and it's also going to reduce the risk for miscarriages and complications later on.